Aloha friends, I wanted to share with you guys what I've been using for about two weeks now. Um, I've been testing it out for you guys, so it has worked. I am completely satisfied with it. Um, this is called the homemade uh, or DIY Febreze. Now, um, there's a couple of recipes um, on Pinterest, and this is the one that I use with, um, with the stoppables and this is the downy stoppables and this one is just the, um, the blue scent which is the fresh comes in a couple of variety ones bigger ones but this one i only got at target for like a dollar 99 so i figured why not give it a try right and all it requires for this one is just hot water and what i do is i fill the spray bottle with about a quarter of hot water and then i put in about three quarters of the blue cap, see blue cap comes off, and then the stoppables, it's hard to do it with one hand, but they're basically like little beads, if you've never used them. So I don't normally use this, I, um, I normally just use um, just a liquid fabric uh, softener, but what it is, it's just these little fragrant beads that just smells just like the liquid um, fabric softener so I fill that up depending on the size of the bottle for this particular one I think this much works really well for me so I'll go ahead and fill this up with hot water okay this is just hot tap water and then I start off like a quarter of the size of whatever choosing of container you have and then I'll fill it up there we go nice and sealed so now I'm gonna go ahead and shake it the reason that I only fill it up a quarter full is so that I can make sure that the beads dissolve into that hot water. I don't want any beads floating around. I want it fully dissolved. Now as you guys can see, there's just a little bit left at the bottom that has not dissolved and this is the reason why I only fill it a quarter of the ways up and that way I can go into my sink run my hot water and then go ahead and fill it up so then that way the hot water dissolves the beads really well also the other recipe that i um, saw on on pinterest calls for baking soda now with the baking soda mixture the, um there's been um complaints or issues where it's got like white residue um after spraying it like i said i've been using this for two weeks i have not gotten any white residue afterwards um it it sprays on and then it um it dries really nice and clear so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you guys for visiting a simply simple life mahalo